Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and today I want to talk about if Season 5 has saved Halo Infinite. It's a phrase that you see all the time, you know, like, Halo's back, Halo's been saved, is this the season that saves it, is Halo dead? And we made it to Season 5, and there were those who said, you know, months and months and months ago, during the dark times, that Infinite wouldn't make it past Season 4, that the game would be abandoned, but... Here we are, Forge has come, Campaign AI has now been incorporated into Forge, maps and modes have flooded the game from the community, we have a new UI update, marketing promos, a massive bump to player count and viewership on live streams, as well as a ton of positive press and social media interactions, but can we say that Halo Infinite is officially safe? Do we dare use the phrase, Halo is back? Let's talk about it. But before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to everybody. This last month has been absolutely amazing in terms of the interaction on the channel. We are currently grinding away towards 15k. My birthday is at the end of this month, so it would be kind of cool if, like, this video does really well. And a lot of people were like, oh, Hollow Tide could be my third favorite Halo YouTuber. So if you enjoy the video, make sure you like it and make sure you sub. That being said, let's get into the video. So after doing some digging and tweets and, you know, a little bit of research here and there, I found that Halo Infinite moved from 84th to the top six on the Steam Top Sellers chart for revenue for the US and 16th in the world. The Steam player count reached a peak of over 18,000 players, which is the most players that have been on at a time on Steam for a long time. Halo.API tweeted that there were at least 46,000 people playing with 35,000 active fire teams across Xbox and Steam. According to Twitch Tracker, there's been an average of 14,500 viewers the past seven days with over 2 million hours watched the past seven days as well and ranking 33rd on the platform. It's been trending on Twitter for a bit as well and obviously there's many reasons for this. We just had HTS Worlds, it's a new season, there's Flood Cosmetics and some Flood Story, the new Bandit Evo in ranked, UI improvements, just all of that, Forge and AI, it's just, there was a lot that came with it. But... I do think we will see the population start to taper off like most games as the season goes on. That being said, we don't have everything that the season has promised yet. I do think 343 is doing the smart thing by having a larger mid-season update, such as the one this season where we will see firefight and matchmaking added, things like the Halo 3 playlist and partnerships with Mountain Dew and Doritos, and maybe some other prizes. I'm looking at you, BTB community playlist. I'm looking at you hard. Please. We need it. Maybe some more squad battle maps, you know, too. Also, Griff Ball now, since the Gravity Hammer seems to be working. I think Footed Ghost did a video on this. I don't know if it was an accidental change, but the Gravity Hammer seems to have been buffed or is just now working as intended, and 343 hasn't really said anything about it. Anyways, we've also seen a ton of outlets talking about the success of the season as well. IGN has an article titled Halo Infinite Steam Player Count Doubles Following Season 5 Launch. WCCCF Tech says Halo Infinite seems to be making a comeback with Season 5. Windows Central says Halo Infinite is seeing a large resurgence in players since the launch. And so on and so on and so on. It's almost weird to see such a positive reception to a new season of a game that most had written off a long, long time ago. But while I am happy with the season and with the reception, Infinite is not out of the woods yet. There's a lot of unknowns, especially with Halo in recent years. We do get a ton of leaks, but confirmed info from 343 always seems to be held close to them and mostly up until the launch of a new season. I mean, there are people already saying that the next Halo game is already being developed and stuff, and Unreal Engine, and who knows. But each season since the Winter Update has felt like an improvement to the game and to the ecosystem, and Season 5 is shaping up to be far and away the best and potentially most important season of Halo Infinite's life so far. Which is crazy to think because, you know, it seems like each season has been the best season, and at what point is... It not going to be like, will season 8 just be like a, you know, eh, season? I don't know. With the user-generated content potential, it really does feel like 343, the current leadership of 343, is trusting its players with the future of the game, and honestly, to me, that's one of the smartest things they can do. I hope now that we have all this campaign AI and Forge and the player base can help create maps, modes, PvE experiences, and things of that nature, 
that 343 will start to do more quality of life stuff, like work on networking, work on performance, optimization, stability, just trying to make the game feel better. I think that's probably the most important thing going forward now, because it doesn't matter how much you're going to add to the game. If it's unenjoyable to play in terms of that stuff, like players have a set of standards when it comes to playing like games online. And I think that it would be very important for Halo to have that integrity as a priority going forward. That being said, is Halo Infinite saved? Is Halo back? Well, for me, you know, I've never left Halo. Halo's not been gone from my life, so I can't really speak to that. I also can't say for certain if Halo Infinite is saved. We were told that it was going to be a 10-year game, and, you know, at this point, who, who knows what's going to happen. I just hope that they keep supporting the game, and hopefully it starts to thrive. I honestly think that we're going to see maybe a bigger marketing push going forward. This deal with, like, Mountain Dew and stuff feels like the start of, like, a marketing campaign to kind of get back in front of, you know, players that may not play Halo at all or have left the game. For them to see that there's partnerships like that I think will be very important. Hopefully the second season of the Halo TV show is an absolute banger because I do think that that would really help as well. Maybe one day soon we'll see the certain affinity game mode and that comes out and is absolutely amazing to play as well and it's just you keep the ball rolling. But what I want from you all is to let me know in the comments down below how you feel about season 5 if you took a break and now you're back or if it's still not enough for you to install the game how you feel about halo so on and so forth but that's going to do it for the video ladies and gentlemen if you enjoyed make sure you leave a like down below if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and i'll catch you all around the ring peace